and welcome to Scar Hub. This is just going to be a first video, introductory video, show you what video is coming next. It's not anything particular, I just decided to you know, create this channel, I know where I enjoy cigars, um, I watch RJ the Smoker, and this has kind of inspired me to do my own thing. Don't expect many views, really don't expect much at all, just want to share with you my thoughts. Well, I decided to name Scar Hub just simply because I can. I mean, I have a channel called Game Hub and I upload gameplay videos there because that's just sort of a hobby thing I do. And yeah, said, can you continue with that title? I mean, cigars, what else do you expect? So I'm Scottish, my name's Chris, and that's all you need to know about me. I plan to upload here regularly. So I guess with this awkwardness, I might as well move on to the cigars I've actually got on hand. Uh, I plan mainly to do the ones that you can get locally at your post office here in the UK. But, um, you know, there's a, a shop online, I'll leave a link, link in the description that I actually get some of mine from. A bit more adventurous, because in the post office you only get your usual cafe cremes, whatever. So let me just go over the ones I will be showing on, on these uh, videos. Starting up would be the Club Master Vanilla. Just need to get another smell of this. It smells absolutely great. It's one of the strongest vanilla scars I've ever smelled. Absolute brilliant. Would love to start trying this. I'll actually start show you the actual cigar. Seems fairly generic. But it smells great. Next one here would be I don't remember the brand of this. It's just the packets in, but it didn't seem to be about this. Principes. Chico's Cherry. So the camera possibly focus in on that. Or it just might not want to. But this is the cherry flavour. And I have heard these are the best, so I really wanted to try one of these. Never been big on flavoured scars, never really tried them, so I decided to order some of them quite recently. These are one I very common to me. I believe I've got one loose laying around here. Uh, here's one. Just fairly generic, densely packed, normal cigars, normal tobacco, no flavour. Well, other than straight up tobacco. Machine rolled. They're very cheap. It's maybe about £5 for a pack of six. And here I also keep these. These are singles you could buy for £1.29, I think. It's less than £1.30 anyway. These are Castellos Classics. Um, yeah, not much more to it than that. These are cheap machine rolled. Decent size, not too tensely packed, but for the money, you're getting something that's quite okay. Just put that back there. Uh, what's next? These I also will be doing reviews of. These are the Remist yeah, Remister Royal Dutch Half Corona. These are quite short, but a decent width. And they are quite phenomenal the hell you get on these very good show you what the pack looks like incidentally if you're not in the UK everything has a big smoke and kills label on it and something on the back written warning sometimes there's a picture which kind of disturbs you just show off the pack of the last one just king six six panatellas again with this and this horrible picture just the uh, under his neck there. Just gonna cover it with my finger in case you didn't see it and you don't want to see it but if you do want to see it go back in the video it's pretty bad. I really don't believe they should be posting these though. I mean like um see the ones where they say you can tell your children whatever that's a fair point good they get the point across but these I mean that just grosses you out it doesn't stop you want to smoke though. Next it would be oh, any of these I don't have any of the common ones from the post office on at the moment. These are King 6. You can get from the post office as well as the Castello Classics. These uh, Royal Dutch Half Coronas I got from Asda. They have a in-store tobacconist, so you get them there. And the only place I've seen them, so. As for the, uh, the rest of them, they're from the online shop I got. Next would be these. You often find Cafe Creme. Like this. This one is uh, vanilla. These have filters. These don't. This is cappuccino. Flavor-wise, definitely prefer the cappuccino. I mean, 
the vanilla is okay, but I mean, definitely much better. Everything with the cappuccino is just overall, if you like the back of the taste, it's good. Just take these out for you. If you uh, have seen Cafe Creme, which is one I will be showing you, but I just don't have right now. You see it's kind of a light colour, light tobacco on the outside compared to the rest. These stay together very well. Very good draw, very good smoke in general. You see Cafe Creme, there are packs like this with 10 in them, but they're a little bit shorter. At least a decent bit shorter. So I'm just getting a drink. And you don't get them flavoured. They're similar prices, these are about £4.30. Oh, incidentally, five of these is eight pounds something, so they're kind of expensive, but they're definitely worth it. These are about four pound ten p. The cafe creme are four pound thirty ish. Uh, these definitely, definitely much better value. Let me show you one of the filtered ones. I traditionally wouldn't buy these filtered, but um, these only come filtered from the shop I got them from. From what I saw, it's kind of helpful, but. It does take away from it a little bit. Incidentally, to come fold it up like this. Uh, last on that paraphernalia, I have these. Shoot back first. Handelsburg, and this is apple, sweet apple, I believe it's called. Five cigarillos. Again, it's one kills label. One of these labels. I prefer these to the other ones because, you know, no disgusting picture, still gets the point across. Five cigars. These I definitely will have to review. And yeah, they smell very good. Like even just straight off the bat, they're still sealed and you can smell them and they're quite good. Just put this aside. I had this in sweet apple. I went on to the aromatic flavours and bottle this by the way. And this is the peach, sweet peach, I believe it says in the packet. Yeah. Sweet peach taste. Again with the labels. I have no idea why it focuses on my hand when it's that close, but it doesn't focus on this when it's at any distance. But, yep. Definitely looking forward to trying these and the apple ones. Very good value. Uh, one I will be having but won't be having on stream would be uh, on video would be this one because um, this was a gift for my birthday and I would like to you know have it then uh, I've never really heard of this it's a shower town tube to Churchill it's from Nicaragua uh, it's never going to focus is it might as well just accept the feet now Maybe if I block off the light coming from my computer. Yeah. This thing is incredible. Keep in mind, I just in case you want to do size comparisons with anything, my hands are genuinely massive. So uh, you could just imagine how big this is. I just got to be able to focus on this, surely. Nope, but uh, handmade premium scars in Nicaragua. Charton. Looking forward to having this sealed cap, of course. I do have a cigar cutter, but I should probably get a new one because that one's getting a bit blunt. And uh, I wouldn't like to just rip this one instead of cutting straight clean through it. As you know, this is kind of a special present one. As for that, there's also some paraphernalia. There's a very uh, cheap pipe stand, standard pipe. I have some Bruno tobacco, it's quite good. But I would say I'm not going to post many videos of this, at least not for the time being, because I'm not that experienced with pipes. I mean, so I've got one, so I'm doing my own thing with it. Looked up a few, um, you know, a good few videos on YouTube. And, you know, that sort of taught me. But I wouldn't say I'm any amount of an expert. It was so cheap to buy this as well, it's just one of those cheap ones. Wooden pipe, uh, outstanding brand, guarantee of quality. It's just the fact that it says guarantee of quality, that means it's a guarantee of no quality. It's actually really good. And it comes with a leather pouch, and considering the price of this, it was unbelievably cheap. If you like a link to this, 
I can probably link it to eBay in the description, just to mention it. Uh, as for lighters, nothing special at all, like, um, I bought 50 of these, like 50 of these lighters for like £6 or something, it was £5 something. They're not bad, but, um, so I mean, even this one, still near half full. Flames kind of dwindling, it's not good for a pipe. I've also ordered a butane jet lighter and some matches in that case. It's one of my favourite lighters that I don't use. It's just kind of fun. But it works through the electric coil, like um, seeing your car, your lighter socket. It's got that kind of coil that it just heats up, pushes the cigar or cigarette up to get inside and the wipes. And it's got a rechargeable battery, just plug into USB. Never really found it at all useful. It's much bigger than a lighter, much more fast. It's not. Uh, I do have a lot of rolling paraphernalia. Let me just get all this over here. I don't really roll anything. I mean, I did buy some normal tobacco and just didn't get into it. Oh, by the way, to mention layers, I do have this one that's empty now, but um, this was a pound from the post office, which is really expensive, but it's refillable, so can't complain. I also ordered some refill gas. The uh, cigarette rollers, wouldn't mind messing about one of these one time. This one I found to be probably one of the best ones, because uh, it's the zigzag one. It cost just a pound, I believe, free shipping off eBay. And it works very well, rolls whatever size you want, really. I mean, you can even see in the end, if you want to roll one like that, just, you know, roll one. If not, then pull these apart to squish it a bit, and then you could roll it like that. I found them to be very useful. As for the bowl brand one, which I was originally going to get just on its own, but Asda had run out and they gave me a poor substitution, so I gave it back. But um, yeah, this rolls really thin ones, but it's very high quality. But you're not going to be breaking these, so I would suggest going for the zigzag one. This costs twice as much, two pounds. This costs a pound. It's throwaway money. I believe this is better. As for filters, I don't like using filters as I said, but for the cigarettes roll my own, I just decided to use them anyway. I use these raw, natural, un unrefined tips. It's supposed to be unbleached or whatever. And what you do with these, in case you don't know, is you just tape on, rip it off, roll it up. I also got these uh, extra slim ones by Swan. And these are basically individual filler tips. And these are very slim, they're all very slim ones. If you're using the bowl, the bowl brand roller, that's that's what you want to be using. Also using Rizla papers, the most one of the most common ones, zigzag as well. But I just use Rizla. Looking over everything, I believe that's getting to be the amount I've gone over completely. Uh, nothing else laying around here. Uh, so yeah. Oh, I forgot about two things, one being more important. Scar cutter, just cheap one off eBay, double bladed car. It's not that good, it doesn't really cut that well. As I said, I want to get a decent one for the larger scar. Now this, in case you haven't seen it, is a very useful zigzag. It's coming back on. Zigzag roller. Basically opens up like this. I would guess you would store some tobacco in here. Maybe, um, your papers, filters, whatever, as well as some tobacco. And it's got a little roller here. You can probably see it's better from the side, but um, push this down in here. So then you've got your little crevice, you can put your, uh, just put your filter tip in and then line the rest with tobacco. And then you put it in your paper, like just up against the back here, you look at the top of it. You put it up against the back here. And then as you close it, that rolls up and that basically, you know, rolls the cigarette for you. And then as you close it, it pops out the top here. It's very, it's a nice little mechanism and only costs about two pounds. It's very, it's worth, it's worth getting, I think, just for sheer novelty. It's not quick, but I guess it could be quite a bit less fiddly than messing around with these. I believe that is everything covered and I'm going to be making a video of me smoking 
I'm going to pick a random one of these. Uh, I believe that is everything covered at least. Yeah, I'm going to have some new stuff in the next few days. I'm going to be going over that. I'm also going to be probably getting some more cigars. I'm going to get some Cafe Cremes, of course, just from the post office, just so I could go over those. Because those are quite common. Uh, I can't really think of anything else common from the post office because they don't really have that much. But they've just got Cafe Creme and the Castell Classic Small Ones, the King Six. Uh, there's another one they've got, I don't know what it was, I think it might be. Some Royal Crown. No, Royal Dutch. I have no idea, but let's just leave the video out there. Hope you enjoyed this introduction, and I hope you enjoy the future videos on this channel.